What's up guys? Here you want a game for another reaction. So today we are ready to continue our journey on reactions to TV shows guys. And today's episode is the finale of The Walking Dead. I don't believe like came to an end of, of the first season. Uh, of course, I'm excited for, for the finale, for the season 2 because you know, I will keep reacting to but you know, uh, to think about you know, when I decided to react to this show because it was not in my plans to be honest, to react to the, no, the Walking Dead because I don't know if I mentioned you uh, before uh, The Walking Dead it was a you know, TV show that uh, I watched back in the days, 2010 the first season and I think the first episode of the second so I, uh, you know, in my you know, channel, I decided to go with first time watch only. So it was not in my plans to go with The Walking Dead. But because it was for so long that I watched you know, the first season, that uh, I decided to, okay, let's you know, give a shot. Because I know there is a lot of uh, you know, seasons with this TV show. So I'll give you know, a try to see you know, the feedback, the support. And you know, in my lightning again to this show, to see if it's worth to keep watching the, you know, the four seasons and as I can see is worth it you know because I'm enjoying it a lot and from the TV shows I reacted so far is a TV show that is uh, receiving uh, more support you know so I cannot let you guys down by stopping now and you know giving it you know, a shot to another TV show I will do I will do to another ones but I will not cross the, the Walking Dead you know um, yes this week we are having finale of The Walking Dead Season 1, Piggy Blinder Season 1, and Sons of Anarchy Season 1 as well. So, uh, I will stop reacting to Piggy Blinders and Sons of Anarchy for now. I'll give a try to another 4 ones. So, I will be reacting alongside Walking Dead 4 new uh, TV shows. So, I'll be reacting besides The Walking Dead, Doctor Who, The Sopranos, uh, Mr. Robot, and True Detective. So, stay tuned for those ones as well, because I'm pretty sure you guys might like those shows at least one or two so i'll be reacting to them uh from this week on you know until the end of the fourth season and then i'll be reacting to the seven tv shows i reacted to you no know, not counting with walking dead because walking dead is uh no the one that i'll be reacting to the end already so but from the other sevens i'll be choosing one to be reacting alongside walking dead until the end you know I'm here to figure out which one will be worth of, you know. Uh, I know like maybe all of them they are, but I'm also here to have a look on a lot of things because I can die tomorrow, it's a reality. And if that happens, hopefully not, of course, I will never be able to know what The Sopranos was all about, you know. So that's why even though uh, you know, I don't guarantee that I will be reacting to the further seasons, I think one season is enough for me to approach you know, the masterpiece that I think The Sopranos and all these TV shows are. To be honest, I don't even need to be reacting to the first season, even though I want to. The same thing as, for example, I watched The Rocky One, and I did it like three, four months ago. I know there is the Rocky Two, Rocky Three, Rocky Four, but uh, I don't need to. Because for me, it's enough to have a look on uh, you know, a time period of a certain character, you know? So, The Sopranos, of course, there is a season 2, you know, but I'm pretty sure the season 1 will give me the plot of a time period of the main character of The Soprano, you know, so that's what I need, you know, before I die, kind of, you know, but of course, if I have time enough to keep reacting until the end to all TV shows, I will do, but for now, I will have a look on some and then I will uh, decide to, uh, on two to keep reacting until the end, The Walking Dead is one of them. And I'm, uh, if I'll be honest with you, I think the Breaking Bad is the one that, uh, you know, I think I'll be reacting until the end alongside the, the Walking Dead. Let's see. I'm not like it's not 100% sure, so I don't keep going with uh, any type of you know, assumption, you know. And yes, guys, uh, to speak more about the Walking Dead. Last episode was a great, great episode. Uh, we finally reached uh, CDC or DCD? No, CDC, definitely. Yes, so we are on that place now with that guy that, uh, you know, you can tell is affected by, you know, kind of like the, the epidemic that's going on in the world of The Walking Dead. Uh, he's, you know, you can tell he's crazy. Let's see, like, if uh, he is good company 
for our boys, you know. But he accepted them, so at least they have a place uh, that uh, for a while they will be, uh, you know, safe from you know, the undead, yeah. So I'm curious to see the finale will be about. Uh, the name's episode is TC19. I remember uh, TC19 was written on that, you know, plastic bag, small plastic bag that he had like a sample of maybe, you know, uh, flesh of an undead, I assume. So TC19 might be what? Possibly Q? Possible. So I'm curious and uh, excited to see like if this finale will mention that there is actually a cure out there, a possibility, a high chances for the existence of a cure, you know, if eventually they keep going, you know, that will give them a purpose. That's what I want, you know. Yes. Well, guys, now for real, enough talk, and I'll keep going with this intro, otherwise this video will be too long. Let's now, let's jump to the episode. In the end, of course, I will give my conclusion, my review, my thoughts about this finale, and if I will have time, if I think it's worth I will give my thoughts about the, well, the first season in general, yeah? Yes, before we do so, please keep giving me love, energy, by subscribing to my channel, just one click, gonna make it much more happier, stronger, so I keep with the right momentum to give you things you guys almost every day. We are an hour away of 5k, it's a long way to go, but in life, you know, if you don't aim big, life loses a little bit meaning, you know? I think aiming big is what gives life a purpose. Yes, so do for all fun, and let's do this, guys, let's do this. There you go. Flashback. So now we will get to know what actually happened. No way. Why are they doing this? It's military. Jesus. So they assumed that they were all infected. And they see now these guys entering on. Here we go. Okay, at least he's trying. Not a bad start. Listen to me, if you're gonna wake up, I need you to do it now. Okay, now! Wow, like a war scene. They want to destroy this place, because this place are full of infected. You know? The thing that I would like to know is how long he stayed here, you know? I'm not aware of it. See you guys, they were great buddies. Okay, my respect towards you no know, the Punisher. I think his, his name is Shin. I'm not good at remembering names, sorry about that. But my respect grew now. Yeah. Yeah, he will leave him, but he will kinda like put this bed Yeah, in front of the door to make sure then that they will not be able to enter uh no his room. So he did a great job. Shout out to you no know, the Punisher. Shout out. He did uh everything that based on the situation that he was on, he did the right thing in my eyes. Me, I like this shot. Watch for the walkers. Nah, they are not here, my friend. This place is like heaven. Anybody infected? One of our group was. Yeah. You all submit to a blood test. That's the price of admission. We can do that. Huh? You got stuff to bring in, you do it now. Once this door closes, it stays closed. So they still went to the vent to grab some stuff, I think. Once this door closes, close for good. I didn't get that, to be honest. But you look harmless enough. Thank <laughs> you. I'll have to keep my eye on you. They got you know, the humor with him. It's good. I like to be you know, surrounded by people with humor. It's my, my thing. You know? Humor in people represents positivism in my eyes. Vi, bring up the lights in the big room. There we go. Where is everybody? You got the yeah. doctors, the staff. Why is he alone? Why is he by himself here? Hello, guests. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the future. I'm all that's left. I'm all that's left. So what happened? They left or they died? I wonder. What's the point? If we were infected, we'd all be running a fever. Yeah, this is a little bit suspicious of him doing this. Hopefully, he's not doing nothing to them instead. Instead of like taking the blood. <laughs> Children have a little bit of wine. Really? Come on. Really? <laughs> ah, okay. Are you for real? Are you for real? Ew. Oh yeah. At first, tastes like piss, man. Come on. <laughs> so when you gonna tell us what the hell happened here, Doc? Where are they? We're celebrating Shane. 
No need to do this now. I like the way, you know, he's more cautious. You know, Shane. He goes straight to the point. Well, when things got bad, a lot of people just left. Oh, yeah, makes sense. He decided to be it. Many couldn't face walking out the door. There was a rash of suicide. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe the people that were here, they were more aware of how bad the situation that is going on in this world is. They decided to, okay, there is no hope. I will kill myself because I prefer to kill myself now than becoming one of them, you know? If you shower, go easy on the hot water. Hot water? You save the auto. That's what the man said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will have a, you know, at least moment. They were not having for a, for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Hot water. I mentioned that you know, last episode at the beginning that Vic needed a shower. Is there anyone? He had already, you know, in the first episode. <laughs> yeah, man. I like the way this show, uh, you know, plays with us. I like it. But, guys, my, like I mentioned, my respect for him grew when they showed us that he did everything to make sure Vic was in a better condition as possible in the hospital. So now it's all about mental illness working. Not really like him anymore. Well, that's it. She's having like, you know, that's uh, when sadness hits you hard, you vomit, you know, because your stomach are trembling. I see uh, a chance to make a new start. <laughs> Jesus. But no, that's positivism. There's nothing left. Yeah, she's hopeful as well. She's suicidal. The way this old man looks, he looks okay. Because maybe he's old, he has you know, lived you know, the life that he wanted to live already. So maybe that's the case. You don't know what it's like out there. You may think you do, but you don't. I never told him what I really thought. I never even hinted, just, just kept it in. He also feels like there is no hope. But there's no time for that. We need to keep going. It'll all be okay. Oh. Wow! Yeah. Any good books? That's a nice place. It can be here forever, come on. Sometimes the boys just go out to grab some food somewhere. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> He's crazy. He's mental illness. Okay, you know? I'm not joking about it. I'm gonna tell you a few things and you're gonna and listen to me. He's drunk as well. Guys, this is crazy. He still thinks like he got a chance with that. You're kidding, Amy. right? Uh -uh. Because you told me my husband was dead. Boy, I didn't lie to you, all right? I didn't. There were no doctors there. It was just me. He was hooked up to machines and I did not know what to do. There you go, yeah. He, you know, it's telling the truth. And if I could have traded places with him, I would have. I love you. No, no, you're drunk. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. He loves it. He loves it. This is uh, Peter Arbor stuff, my friends. This triangle is crazy. Get your hands off! I love you. Please. 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 Stop. Shh. No, no, no. All right, just. I think he will come. Ah. Can you imagine? That? Can you imagine like Vic caught in there doing that? You'll kill him. <laughs> this is crazy. She is fucked. With this guy around, she will never be in peace. Yeah, yeah. Was you know great acting. From both, I like that scene. I'm surprised with this, uh, no, show man. To be honest, we don't have to be afraid anymore. We're safe here. She's a cutie. Come on, look at this. Um, she's getting paranoid as well. I think she thinks she has to reveal to Rick because Sean can reveal to Rick about that. It's better to come from her mouth first. Eggs. Protein helps the hangover. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Just love eggs in the morning. It's my thing. The hell happened to you? We go. Your neck. Must have done it in my sleep. Never seen you do that before. Me neither. Not like me at all. Look, this guy's a dumb ass, man. What a douchebag. Come on, man. Give me playback of TS19. Playback of TS19. Few people ever got a chance to see this. We go. Let's see. Let's see what you know, this DC-19 actually is. Is that a brain? An extraordinary one. Wow. What are those lights? <laughs> no. It's a person's life. Experiences, memories, it's everything. The thing that makes you unique. Conscious. Test subject 19. Someone who was infected and volunteered to have us record the process. So, TS-19 is actually 
person. It invades the brain like meningitis. The brain goes into shutdown, then the major organs. Everything you ever were or ever will be, gone. But now, somehow, they wake up, yeah? Scan to the second event. The resurrection times vary wildly. The longest we heard of was eight hours. In the case of this patient, it was two hours. One minute, seven seconds. That's dang. Suddenly, but what causes that? Basically, it gets them up and moving. But they're not alive. The frontal lobes, the neocortex, the human part, that doesn't come back. The you. The ego, the you part, the conscious. I mean, God, what was really that? Really well explained, you know? There's a bullet. He shot his patient in the head. Of course he did. She was transforming. What else would you possibly do? So it's not just here. There's nothing left anywhere. How about Europe? I'd like to know. The world is all like this. Or only in America, you know? Like, where it all started. That clock, it's counting down. You go. What happens at zero? Basement generators, they run out of fuel. Vi, what happens when the power runs out? When the power runs out, facility-wide decontamination will occur. Contamination? What does that mean? I don't like the way Jenner cleaned up. I'm afraid that Chain will one day flip out and kill Rick. Because of what? Yeah, that's like what love does, you know? So I think love sometimes is overrated, you know? Scary stuff. So that thing is giving fuel, huh? A lot of dead generators and more empty fuel drums than I can count. So this is really the last one. It can't be down just that one. That's why they cannot be here forever. That's why they cannot be here even for one day more, you know? Because I think the counter was, what, 59 minutes, yeah? Actually, not 59 hours or even 59 days. I think it was 59 minutes. Here we go. He knows he's fucked. That's why everybody left, because they knew that they could not be here forever. He, I knew that someone was speaks about this guy. You no, know, you could tell that in the end of the last episode. We always think there's going to be more time. What's going on? What's it going to turn on? Energy use is being prioritized. <laughs> hey man, I'm talking to you. What do you mean it's shutting itself down? He, uh, this guy's gone as well. Okay, I'm expecting a thrilling finale. It was the French. They were the last ones to hold out as far as I know. They thought they were close to a solution. Okay. What happened? Same thing that's happening here. A power grid. The world runs on fossil fuel. I mean, how stupid is that? That's the thing. That's the problem of the world. Something like that will happen to the world. Oh, that's the best thing you need to make sure. One day everything will run through, you know, energy of the sun. That's like the best solution for us to live uh, longer as possible. Get your stuff and let's go. Go now. Let's go. Here you go, yeah. They have 30 minutes. Don't tell me that the counter is actually like a bomb. This building will explode in the end. If it's a 30 minute window, I am recording. This guy's crazy, yeah. Scientists are like this. They do everything for science. Everything topside is locked down. The emergency exits are sealed. That's not something I control. The computers yeah. do. I told okay, you. Yeah. Once that front door closed, it wouldn't open again. You heard me say Here that. Here we go. I got clarified about the question. I was wondering in the beginning. In the event of a catastrophic power failure and a terrorist attack, Vide, fine. HIT's high impulse thermobaric fuel air explosives consist of a two stage. Explosions. He sets the air on fire. He sets the air on fire. An end to sorrow, grief, regret. Wow. If they knew they would never come in, you know? Out of my way! Oh, yeah, come on. That's no. The man with the dirty job. That's what the girls are thinking. You know what's out there. Is that really what you want for your wife and I don't want this. Those doors are designed to withstand a rocket launcher. I wonder, like, what's gonna happen? How are they gonna, you know, get out of this place? You knew it was just a matter of time before everybody you loved was dead. But you really said that? After all, you big up. I had to keep hope alive, didn't I? Guys, this thing will make her against Rick. Maybe Shane will have a chance. Wow, this is a twist here. This isn't right. You can't just keep us here. What a bad decision for Rick to come to this place. Open that door. I'm gonna blow your head off. Do you hear me? Brother. Brother. <laughs> He's crazy. You can tell. Ah, Jesus. Shane needed this. Not because only of this guy, but because the thing between him, you know, and Rick and the bad girlfriend. You done now? You done. Yeah, I guess we all God. are. We. This will break this group apart. 
Whew, guys, I'm so anxious to know how they're gonna get. No, how this is. I think there might be a way to, for him to open the door. Come on, there might be a manual stuff. You stayed when others ran. Why? I made a promise to her. To subject 19 was your wife. She begged me to keep going as long as I could. Okay, was his wife. In our field, she was an Einstein. She could have done something about this. So TC19 was, you know, a special person. Besides being his wife, she was like a great mind, a great source of hope. I told you top side's locked down, I can't open those. Come on! Oh, they have four minutes. Jesus, what the finale, man. Really well done. The way they have done this episode of suspense. Grateful. The day will come when you won't be. Let's Guys, go. don't tell me. No, I'm saying. I'm saying, sweetie. Get out. Get out. I just you know, made a reaction to the Get Out movie. What a great movie as well. If you guys like suspense thriller, I recommend you guys watch my reaction to that movie. Get out. I'm staying too. Andrew, no! Hey man, I was liking this character. But I wonder what, what he whispered on Rick's ears. Don't tell me he saw, you know, Shane with Rick's wife, you know, that moment. Wow, this will change it all. The twist in these last 15 minutes of this episode is incredible. Look at this. They might not be a rocket launcher proof. Come on. Dog, get down, get down! Now this, the shotgun. My word. Glass won't break. When I washed your uniform, I found this in your pocket. Grenade. Yeah, this will work. Pretty sure. Oh no, shit! No, no, no. I knew it. Yeah. Hey guys, it was not really well enough done. You could see my special effects. But tell me what says. What are you doing? Don't pull this, Dale. I'm not pulling anything. If you're staying, I stay too. Yeah. He mentioned that she was you now uh, his reason of living after uh, his dad's wife, so makes sense that he is doing that. <laughs> Zombies already! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, blow! Come on, bring them all. Hey, I just like the way the production is so good on this TV show. Okay, they saved their asses actually. Here we go. Yeah, I knew. It. Here you go. So they will uh, hug each other. They will die pain free. But the thing is, like, I don't know how, you know, actually explosions work. You no, know, the effect. The ears, they might got fucked after this. They survived. Okay. And I could hear her heart is softly. Guys, I'm curious to see, like, what the guy whispered on his ear. This will influence whatever will happen on the second in the season. And he mentioned that he was actually expecting to his family to not survive in this world, there was no hope, that will affect him as well. I mean, the relationship between him and his wife. He isn't only if my own true love is waiting. Wow, guys, what a great finale. What a great episode. Such a great episode. So, I remember to mention at the beginning when they entered, and, they, and the guy mentioned that, uh, okay, grab whatever you, know, you think is useful, to put inside of this building, before I close the door, because when I will be closing it, uh, I will not open it anymore. And, and I wondered at, this, at that time why I mentioned that. You know? So because uh, he was, you know, expecting for this outcome. You know. So now what I keep, you know, wondering, what I keep asking myself is, uh, did he did the right decision by letting them, uh, you know, come inside? That is like the pros and cons because. Yeah, by letting them inside, they could have you know, a nice moment, but was for just you know, brief. But if you would refuse to let you know, them uh, going inside, what will be their uh, short-term uh, future? You know, there was another place to go. They had the fuel enough to go to another place. There was undeads around. They had limited bullets as well. So it's a hard one. It's a hard answer you know 
I, I still believe that um, he did the right choice, no? Because, yeah, there was a solution. There was a way to go out, you know? Even in a peculiar way, in a rough way, by using a grenade. Yes, maybe you should have asked, do you guys have a grenade? Because you might use in the end, you know? In the end of your stay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe some of you might think that this guy is crazy. This guy, uh, by opening the door, he opened the door of death for them. Some of you might think, yes, TC19 was his wife. Wow, that was crazy to know. You know, uh, really well explained how they die, how they reborn again as a dead. I like that. Resident Evil was not never able to explain that as good as the show did to us. I like that. So he was making tests on his wife. That's why, you know, straight away you can tell this guy is a psycho, no? Can you, like, love someone that the person dies and you uses uh, the, uh, your loved one flesh to test to make, you know, experiences? That's good. Yes, the thing between Rick, Shane, and no, his wife, now I forgot her name. Sorry, I'm not good with names. Wow. I think that what the guy mentioned on Rick's ear is something related to that. You know, guys, like, I'm, I'm really curious about what he mentioned. And the show did that in purpose for us to stick with the show, you know, for the next season. Because I think everybody wants to know what the fuck he mentioned to it, you know. Wow, I think he was a little bit, you know, douche by mentioning that Rick didn't believe that there was any steps of salvation for him and his family. That was harsh. Could never uh, have, you know, say that thing. So basically, this episode gave me two feelings regarding Shane. At the beginning, I was like, you know, uh, admiring him a lot. My respect grew about him because he did everything he could to make sure Rick was safe. But now he's still like, is on top of her. So, the thing is, love is something uh, extremely strong, you know? When you love a girl, to not love that girl, suddenly, somehow, it's not easy. So, he was, you know, with some drink on him as well. I think we all uh, would have done what he did, you know? So, I don't know really what to think about Shane, but Shane is going crazy. Sh Shane is not the same man as he was uh, when nothing of this was going on. Maybe, uh, you know, it's not his fault. Imagine Rick, you know, putting himself on chain position. You know, imagine Rick being what he is. Imagine Rick doing what Shane did to him, to Shane, you know. Uh, and because of that, imagine Rick grabbing Shane's wife, protecting Shane's wife, Shane's kids, falling in love with her. And then Shane will come. Maybe Rick would feel the same way as Shane is doing. So, guys, it's about cause effect, you know? That's what I'm thinking. So, I don't want to, like, hate Shane, you know? I think he doesn't deserve this type of feeling towards him, you know? He, you know, he is a, a result of a lot of things, a lot of things that we should not judge, you know? Those feelings. The mental illness is not, is not something that uh, you can, we can play with, you know? I like this moment now in the end with the old guy mentioned that if she would not go with him, he would stay. And the reason why is because, uh, you know, I think it was in a previous episode, he mentioned that the reason why I keep living with a smile on my face because I found you, uh, the love that, you know, was taken from me when my wife died. So even though it, it doesn't look to her as, you know, as his loved one, as a wife, as a girlfriend, whatever. He cares about her as much as he cares to to his wife or to his daughter, you know? He loves her. It's kind of like uh, her and their sister that is dead now. They are, uh, the, you know, his meaning of life, kind of, you know? So, yeah, I like that. I like the, the show is giving, uh, again, those uh, epic moments, mo moments for us to to cry moments for us to, you know, think about uh, value and how powerful love is, you know. I like that about this show. It's giving us all the way, non-stop. That's one of the things I like more about this show. You know?
I like the way they, you know, made them escape this place. I like the outcome of this episode. Couldn't be different, you know. Uh, was uh, a good way for the show to make them leave the place. Giving the suspense, giving us the belief that there was no way possible to get out of this place because it was not in this guy's hands. But eventually, uh, it revealed that it was actually a way to open at least those doors from that uh, room, you know. By doing so, they could, you know, find a way to broke the window. As hard as fuck, no hammer, no axe, no baseball stick would do that. Even no, uh, no gun would do that because guy tried shotgun. And he was like, Jesus, yeah, because... If you try a shotgun in any fucking window and the wind doesn't break, that's a fucking thick window. Yes, the only solution would be the grenade. So the girl saved this guy's asses, man. Wow. If she wouldn't decide to put a grenade in her bag, they would be gone for wars, in this case. Well, yes, everything went well in the end. So, you can wait to see like where they are heading now. They, because they didn't plan anything. There was no time to. They were good. And suddenly everything was, you know, bad. So they had no time to think about what we, where we are heading to. The only thing they wondered about was how we'll get out of this place. You know, now they are like, you know, uh, on their way, and I think they will uh, plan, you know, you know, strategy. They will find out a place to go. So maybe they will go to that place that Shane was mentioning all the time, the place that Shane mentioned that that's the place they should have gone instead of this maybe shane was right another like uh point in favor of shane so guys like i mentioned shane cannot be the villain of this show yes guys what a masterpiece of a tv show i'm loving it so far wow i um i don't believe i stopped watching this tv show back in the days you know 2010s because of this channel that i created I will keep going with this TV show as long as I think it's worth keep going with and as long as you guys keep giving the support, yeah? Yes, uh, I would like to, to rate, you know, to make uh, you know, a rank of my favorite episodes so far, but guys, uh, it's really like a late night and to like to really like found like the best episode wouldn't be easy. I would say maybe my favorite uh, is still like the first one. I think the first episode is a masterpiece, you know? Yeah, I'll put the no, the first episode in the first place, and then the no, the other five ones is more or less all the same. So yeah, but I think the first stands out regarding uh, no, the other five. Yes, that's all. Enough talk. I'm gonna keep going with this conclusion review. Otherwise, guys, this video will be too long. I don't know if you guys will be even uh, be here. You know, this moment. I think you are, have already shut down this video. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, I like to give my thoughts, you never know, might be, if there is like one or two people that will be reaching this stage of this uh, video, uh, no, that's what I think about, you know, I, I need to be professional to make sure I give all my thoughts, and that's like uh, the most important. Yes, now for real, as always, if you like this video, press the like button, comment if you think you know, I missed something, uh, say something dumb at a certain point. Should know something about this episode because I'm, I might, I might need some information that I've, I possibly missed. Now, guys, pop, pop in the comments, please. Share with your friends. They might like to watch someone else reacting to this incredible show. And subscribe to my channel. Keep giving me the love, energy. So keep strong with the right mental to keep you doing six, guys. Yes, so I hope you're having fun. And most important of all, stay safe, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.